All right, what is up, everyone? I did just finish recording this entire tutorial, but I had I forgot to um, remove <laughs> this screenshot off of the chart. So it was literally a 30 minute tutorial, but then I go to click back onto OBS and I have this fucking screenshot up here. But regardless, let's go over it again. And I'll remember to take the screenshot off. And hopefully there is still just as much, if not more value in this version of the recording. So over the next few days, we might skip a few days over the weekend, but let's say over the next week, I will be releasing a new tutorial video. I haven't done any kind of tutorial video um, outside of the Crypto Coffee and Lo-Fi series in probably a year, maybe a little bit over a year now. Um, so I thought it might be good to release some of the information for you guys and compact everything into some easy to understand videos. So make sure you have the um, notification bell on over the next week or so as I release these videos. And let me know in the comments below if this stuff helps you. Really appreciate that. So for this episode, we're going to be talking about the key swing reversal pattern or the KSRP. So essentially, what is the KSRP? It's a mechanical way to determine whether or not a market is forming a reversal. So I'm sure many of you guys know what an SFP is, a uh, swing failure pattern, or a lot of you may already trade sweeps. So you would wait for a sweep of a level and then try to enter. Okay, so the key swing reversal pattern is a mechanical way to trade SFPs or a mechanical way to trade a sweep. So I'm sure a lot of you spend a lot of time trading patterns, analyzing them, uh, reading books, watching videos on certain uh, you know trading methods or patterns, but a lot of what you have learned is completely fucking useless unless you have a mechanical way to actually enter and manage the position. No matter how much you learn, or how much somebody teaches you, how much time you spend in the charts, whatever it is. If you don't have a mechanical way to enter and exit your positions, what good is any of the information that you've spent heaps of time learning? The answer is it's no good. <laughs> so hopefully the KSLP and the tutorial that I'm about to go over uh, helps you actually enter some positions. Okay, so um, is there any? So before I go over this, I want to say I don't trade really the KSRP on its own. Essentially, what I'm doing is using the KSRP as a way to build a little bit more context into my positions. So the KSRP and my entire strategy in general is fractal in nature, meaning the patterns that form on the day one or the weekly or the monthly form the exact same way on the minute and even the second charts. Okay, so keeping that in mind, I don't really trade anything above the 15 minute time frame myself personally, but I do still use this pattern on the M1 where I execute most of my positions. So now let's remember to take this off. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm recording, everything's good. Sweet. So I do wanna go over this quickly. Um, if you guys are new here and you haven't watched any of my videos before, you may not be aware of the pattern that I'm actually trading and my method of trading. So essentially, I am just using one pattern and one pattern only to enter and exit every single one of my positions. So having this one pattern and this simple strategy helps me kind of achieve and maintain consistency. I'm a firm believer that if you have 30 reasons to enter a position, that you should also have 30 reasons to exit. Now, if you have 30 reasons to enter a position, yes, it may um, build confidence in you when you're entering, but at the same time, how difficult is it for you to achieve consistency if your whole process and your whole methodology is so complex in nature. So 
the pattern that I use personally is quite simple. So what is that pattern? If I'm looking for shorts, so for example, we have an area of supply right here. I'll wait for a key high to form. Once that high forms, I'll wait for it to, to sweep up above the key high. After the sweep, I'll wait for a price to break below the key swing low that was responsible for taking the high. Once we break and close below, I then look for the same pattern to form again inside of the range between the low and the high. So we have a sweep right here, a break and a close, a return, and then the same pattern forming again. And that is the entry trigger. What I call these is a broken base. So the first pattern, the sweep and the break is a broken base. The second pattern forming inside of this range is a double confirmation. All right. So the KSRP, even though there's a little bit more context built into the idea, it's still just this exact same pattern. So that is a short example. What about a long example? So let's say we have an area of demand right here. So we have a double bottom, we sweep below it, we then break up above the high that was responsible for taking the low. After we break up above that high, we return to the range and we form the exact same pattern again. All right, so that's a double confirmation and a long, long example. Um, so where was right here? So now we'll go through a few examples that I have marked out on the chart. We have BTC SPX, which is a live example that we'll go over. It hasn't yet been confirmed, but I figure Going over my thought process as something is playing out live will probably be, be quite beneficial. And then we have um, a few examples on the dollar as well. So remember the KSRP is a way to determine if price is going to reverse or not. Once we, for, for this example, once we break up above this high, is price going to continue up and use this previous resistance as support? Or are we going to break up above it temporarily distribute and then sell off. The KSRP is a simple way to kind of determine whether or not we're going, well, what we are going to do. So obviously there's no strategy with a 100% hit rate, but the idea of a KSRP is to build context. So let's remove all of these lines here. We have a key swing high right here, resting up above this key swing high is liquidity. So if you're a trader and you're thinking that this is a top, you get short right around this zone, where is your stop going to be? resting up above this high all right if you're not yet in a position you're looking at this high or the majority i guess are looking at this high waiting for price to break up above it where we can then use this level as a previous resistance turn support area where they think okay if we break up above and close above i can long here with my stops a little bit below so if we have two kinds of traders, one that's entering short with their stops above, and then one that is waiting for a breakout of this range where they will then enter or they have buy limit set or buy trigger set. What is that doing? That is generating a liquidity pocket in this zone. So the idea of the KSRP isn't to kind of predict whether or not there is in fact a liquidity pocket and are traders in fact going to enter short in this zone. The idea of a KSRP is to wait for price to reach into these areas and then wait for a setup to form. Now, like I said in the start of the video, I don't generally trade these on their own. I do just use them as a way to build context. So we have a key swing high right here. We reached up above that key swing high and we formed a broken base. So here we have a sweep followed by a break of the low that was responsible for taking the high. You can see it a little bit clearer on the H1, but regardless, there's still no setup here Remember the broken base, so the sweep followed by the break isn't enough for us to enter a position. What we're looking for is a return to the range followed by the same pattern forming again. So you can see we don't have that here. So there's no trade, okay? And then we have the same thing here. So we have a sweep followed by a break, still no trade. But if we move just over to the right, we have a sweep followed by a break. And then we have all of these equal highs here that got swept and then we broke below. So there's a H1 candle close around this level. But when you are 
if you were to hypothetically trade a KSRP, you have the broken base. So we're above equal highs. You have the broken base form, and then you have the double confirmation form. You could enter market on the candle close below this level or wait for a retest where you would then enter short with your stop above this level. So this is basically telling us here that the liquidity above this high and even all of these highs here is being used to generate short orders or or and or I guess the traders, the majority of the traders that are participating in the market aren't interested in buying up above this level and they're interested in either taking profit or entering shorts. Regardless of what entities are actually entering, it doesn't really matter. What the KSRP does is it kind of shows strength or weakness above or below a certain level. So we have the sweep right here and then a break and then a sweep of these levels and then a break right here. So the entry was just below this low to stop above this high. You continue and you can see we continued to sell off. There we go. Where was this example? Hope this isn't too confusing for you guys. So as you can see right here, we have equal highs. So we have a tiny sweep, but it's not really enough for me to think that price is going to sell off considering the um, the time frame that we would be trading. So we have relatively equal highs sitting right there. We move up above those equal highs. We then form another high followed by a break. So we have a sweep, a break. We return to the range between the low and the high. We have equal lows here that are then followed by another sweep right here, followed by a break. So your entry would be the low with your stop right above the high, right there. So I hope this is getting across how I want it to. Um, so now we can take a look at the S&P 500. So we're looking at the futures here, but this is the S&P 500. So we have had a little bit of turmoil over the last few months. The market is heading down. We're in an obvious bear trend. Do you need to keep trading every single sweep of a low that you see? No, you don't. Okay. Even though once we do sweep a higher time frame level, the likelihood that we see at least a temporary small run up is extremely high. A lot of what you guys would be doing is looking for a move that we probably will not see. So even though we do see a sweep, if you're looking on the H4 to get long, the chances of us continuing up and getting and you making a trade that is even worthwhile taking is pretty low. So what can you do to kind of predict, well, help predict <laughs> whether or not a market is going to uh, fully reverse after taking a low? Or is the market just going to continue tanking through a level? The KSRP can help with that as well. So we have a key swing high here, or key, key swing low, sorry. So this low is responsible for this entire leg up. We've recently taken out that key swing low. So we can go onto the M15. So we'll drag this across. And you can see below that low, we have a sweep and a break, which often occurs, right? So we'll take a key low and then we'll see a sweep and a break and a temporary move up. This is not enough for me personally. I'm not telling you what to do, but for me personally, it's not enough to enter a position. Remember, we need to wait for the two confirmations. So once we reach down to this area, if we do get something like this, a sweep followed by a break inside of the range between the high and the low, then that would tell me that, okay, price is going to temporarily reverse. Now, something you need to keep in mind too is that we're on the 15 minute chart. If we get a KSRP on the 15 minute chart, does that mean that we're going to see a full reversal on the daily? No, not necessarily. So if we see it on the 15 minute chart, you should also wait for the pattern to form on the 15 minute chart and your target should be relative to the time frame as well. So I hope that all makes sense. I hope you guys get to I hope you guys have taken some notes and get to learn from this. Um, if you are interested in the full strategy, it's all free. You can click the link in the description below, join up on the Discord, click how to join. Everything is all free, no worries. So make sure you have the notification bell turned on. I'm going to release a few more videos over the next week. And I hope I hope they help you guys out. No worries, enjoy the rest of your day.